What's up YouTube? Today we're shooting with the Sumatra. Um, I've got a few slugs to try and there's something um, Mr. Gunning for fun of Devalt worked on. Um, so he sent me the file to 3D print it. So we're going to test one of his 3D printed um, air strippers. So let's see if that makes any difference on the Sumatra. I recently found out or yesterday actually I tested the, the twist right on the gun and it's a 1 in 24 inch twist. So that's kind of sucky. I don't really think that's made for any slugs. So let's hope we can achieve anything for today. And um, we'll test on 50 meters. I think there's three kind of slugs I want to test. And then I think it's 34 grain uh, javelins. There's spot on slugs, 29 grains. And there is, I'll just check the other, other slug I'm going to test as well. So we'll do 50 meters without six shot grouping without the air stripper and then six shots with the air stripper. So I'm going full power on this one. I'm gonna shoot three shots, refill to 200 bars, three shots again. Since I'm going full power on this one with the modified valve, that's going to be quite a lot of horsepower behind the bullet and or the slug. So let's test that. Um, also, my dad sponsored me nice merch, nice slinging lead t-shirt, and as well the targets I designed that I said in the previous video there they are let's just check if it will focus so that's basically the target so it's one inch for every so it's one inch two inch three inch four inch for the groupings we also have the ammo you're shooting weight speed group and as well the range you can write down there um, as well if you can look if i just zoom in a bit closer it's pb for lead and it also looks like the molecule of lead um, the shape of it uh, I think there's just a bit more blue lines and stuff, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> I think that's quite good and stuff. So let's get to shooting and see if the Fred air stripper makes any difference. Okay, guys, so we're shooting from the window position. Um, it's not the most stable, but we're kind of used to it here in South Africa. It's a very common way of shooting. So we just want to test if the air stripper makes any difference. So let's go. 34 grains, javelins, 0.218. Okay guys, so we are back at 50. Um, let's just quickly check the grouping. So my first shot on 200 bars were there. That was my first shot, second, third shot. I refilled my first, second and third. So we're gonna stick this up with our beautiful stickers my dad also sponsored me. And then we'll put on the air stripper again 200 full, three shots, 200 full, three shots. See if there's any difference. Okay, guys, so we're all patched up. Let's put on the air stripper and let's hope magic happens. Okay, guys, just want to show the air stripper from Gunning for Fun. So he did a few different shapes and sizes and he found this one worked the best for him. So he contacted me or I contacted him um, since we stay in the same town. Asked him for a file. I just adapted it so it works on my Sumatra and let's hope this makes any difference So let's put it on the gun and and see Okay guys, so adding this to the Sumatra and uh, Let's hope this works Okay, so it's fit stable as you can see looks nice Okay, so that's good. Uh, let's do our testing and see if we can get any difference. Okay guys, back here at 50 and wow. Okay guys, um, it looks like a better difference. Um, but first let's do the spot on slugs, the 29 grains full power. I think they're 0.217, so I'm not too sure they're gonna work because it looks like the gun um, works on 0.218. But let me show the results. So I fired seven shots. Um, one was empty, so in total it's six. Don't know if you guys can see there. First, second, third, fourth. I had a flyer there. But that's one, two, three, four, five. If you take that as one inch, it's basically a one inch grouping, just a little bigger. I'll just put it in the ballistic calculator later on. But let's patch this up with. Uh, our pink stickers and then try the 29 grain spot on slugs so guys it looks like there's a difference but 
Doesn't mean if it works on 50 meters, doesn't mean it's gonna work on 100 meters. So let's do the 29 grains, move up to 100 meters and see what difference we can get. Okay guys, so um, just changing the camera, the sun is quite hot, so the phone overheats quickly. Uh, so if it's blurry, my front facing camera is not that good. Um, so let's try the 29 grain uh, sport on slugs. Airstrip is on, let's see full power, three shots, refill, three shots and check the difference. Okay guys, that doesn't look any good. Um, so I'm not even going to try them without the edge stripper or we can actually just to see If it makes any difference um, But even with the edge stripper on that's that whole target So even if we caught all the Turbulence That's not good So let's uh, start by filling. Okay guys, I'll do three shots. If I see it doesn't work, I'm not even going to continue and waste air because my bottle is not that full. So let's hope for the best. Okay, so basically that's a no-no. That's not even two of them are like on the target's edge. So I'm not gonna continue shooting these ones. Um, I'm not gonna like I said, I don't think any 217 slugs will ever do the job in this gun. Maybe if you're lucky with a maybe with a tighter twist, um, these battles won't make for precision. So let's give these ones a uh, put them away and let's test the other slugs I have and see what difference it will make. Um, but for that, for that, let's go uh, stick them. Mark them, I'll show you guys, that's a no-no. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys, so we're all stitched up. Just wanna show you guys there. So these one, two, three, four, five, six. That was with the air stripper. And then one, two, three, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, it's it's not working. Um, I'm gonna try the 30, I'm going to try the 31 rebated bow tails. I know they worked in the old Sumatra. Um, but since I've got the power valve, after that they started tumbling on high power. So I just want to see with the air stripper if it's maybe turbulence that makes them tumbling. Because I didn't tumble in Devil's gun and I, he shot it at 1,055 I think. So I think I'm shooting them at around about between 1,050 and 1,100 feet per second. So let's see if the air stripper does any difference there. Because I remember they started tumbling and some of you hear them like through the air. So I'll do three shots at the bottom target. Uh, if there's no difference, if I hear they tumble, I'll just move on to the next slug and uh, let's see how they go. Okay guys, the 31 grain rebated bow tails from Inferno is loaded. Let me show you there. So they are in. There's a three shot grouping. Air stripper is on and connected and see what happens. Okay guys, so we refilled again until 200 bars. Let's do this uh, third, fourth to sixth shot. And then, I think this is good. Okay, the last three didn't look so good, but they are worth trying on 100 meters, I think. So let's go and stitch up again, check the grouping. It's not as good as the 34 grains, but you can at least see it's something that works. So I think for the next run, so I think for these ones they passed the test because it's basically still uh, hitting a dove on 50. It's not that bad. So I think we can try the 27 grain flat bases from Inferno, also 218. And then if they work within three shots, we'll continue until we get the six shot grouping. After that, we can have a comparison between 25 grain flat base and 25 grain cup base from also from Inferno, which is also 218. So I think these will give a nice, if they group, uh, will be a nice comparison between cup base and flat base in the same shape and size. So let's go check. Okay guys, we're back at 50, 
let's look at the grouping this was my first three shots and then that was a flyer five no, three four five and six so two inch grouping not that bad uh, let's stitch it up with blue ones and then we can see okay guys i just had a little thought I'm not going to do the 25s today. I think let's leave that for next uh, for the next time. Um, I'm just scared that we run out of air, but let's we can do the 27s and the best the best two out of the three that grouped. Um, then we can take them 200, the best two, and see. But so far the 34 grand javelins work the best. I think it's because um, they are not too sharp. Um, I don't know, uh, Gunning for Fun uh, said something about the OJ or something like that due to the slow twist, so let's do the 27 grains and see if there's any luck Okay guys, 27 grain flat base, 218, let's see if there's any difference in accuracy in these things um, So let's go Okay guys, that doesn't look that good, um, so there's still actually one slug I need to try, it's a Ferrigrains 218 from Hert, and the last time I shot them they looked quite good, as well as the 26 grains. So I'll do 3 shots, check out looks full power, and then the 26 grains, 3 shots, and see how they go. Okay guys, 30 grain 218 from Hert unknown slugs, I think these ones will perform quite good. Okay, they didn't look too bad, but not that good. That's full. Okay, guys, 31 grain rebated bow tails. Let's see how they fare. Okay, they didn't look that bad. Um, I've got some 40 grain rebated as well. I just want to try them for to see if a longer bullet will tumble or not. Okay guys, so let's go to 100 meters and then um, <clears throat> see how the results were, but unfortunately it looked like I started nicking the air stripper there at the back, so it's not good. Um, at least we know it works, so that's a good thing, um, just unfortunately they have a 1 in 24 twist, so that kind of sucks. So finding a slug that's going to work on 100 meters, it's quite going to be sucky, but we'll find something. So let's go to 100 meters and check the results. Okay guys, we're here on 100 meters. So that's a rebated. They did quite good. Um, um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to find something for today. We're running out of time. So I'm going to see if I can find some doves at 50 meters, since the gun can only do 50 for today. So, let's see if we can find some doves. Okay guys, I just shot a dove right there. That was about uh, 50, 40 to 50 meters. I just want to go and recover it. It was of the 34 grain javelins. I'm sorry, I don't have a scope cam, so <laughs> it's not going to work that nice. Uh, yeah, so the sunlight's a bit bad. Yeah, well, here's a dove. Nice shot there. In, the impact was right there. The exit wound is uh, these javelins do quite a lot of damage. <laughs> got a nice hollow point. It's just unfortunate I've got that bad twist. Otherwise, we could have pulled 100 meter shots. Um, but for now, this is wild jackal food at the moment. <laughs> um, let's see if we can find more. Okay guys, so that's basically all for today. So we know that the air stripper works. Um, I should have to reprint it then. Uh, make it sit more straight a bit. I think the adapter between my barrel and the, fits, uh, the air stripper on is not done perfectly. So I'll just make plan to get a, to get a better one. Um, at least we know it worked until a certain point before it broke. Um, but otherwise than that, I think it's, it's quite a successful day. Um, I'll, I think tomorrow maybe I might get 42 grain slugs until 50 and there's 60 grain slugs as well to test. 
um, for the fun of it to see how much power we can make. Um, but on that note, please like, comment, um, subscribe. It would really help a lot. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm still working on getting better mics and a scope cam as well, so we can do some hunting a bit. Um, and there is future plans to put a new battle on the Sumatra as well to get the most performance out of this gun. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys next week. Cheers!